It's fight night in Cicero and in the ring, boxing in the Golden Glove semifinals. Abel Osindaro, his brother Ola, supporting from the stands. He's got a very good jab, you know, and he's got a good right hand. Sam Colonna, a Golden Gloves organizer, says he's fully aware of the fight the brothers are fighting outside the ring. Everybody's got the opportunity, you know, uh, why not? You know, he's, he's done nothing wrong to us. The Osindaros were allegedly hired by actor Jussie Smollett to stage a racist and homophobic attack in January. This MAGA country punches me right in the face, so I punched the back. On national TV, no Smollett says he put up a fight screaming. against his so-called attackers, walking away with only a couple scratches. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the ring, Abel can throw a pretty punishing right hook. I just wanna heal my pain with this. Police say Smollett was unhappy with his salary on the show Empire, so he sent this threatening letter to himself, and when that letter didn't get enough attention, Police say that's when Smollett concocted the attack as a publicity stunt, allegedly paying the brothers to go along, even instructing them to buy masks, gloves, and a red hat, all caught on surveillance video we first showed you. Jesse's attorney says you guys aren't telling the truth to investigators. What do you want to say to that? As the brothers entered, they didn't say much about the investigation. We can't talk about that. No. But Empire's I'm creator, Lee Daniels, who initially supported Smollett, we said have... this. Me and my cast have experienced pain and um, anger and um, um, sadness and frustration and really don't know how to deal with it, you know? Abel, how'd that feel? <laughs> Thank you. Abel did win his fight earlier tonight. As for Jussie Smollett, he pled not guilty last week and will be back in court in April. Reporting from the Cicero Stadium, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. All right, Charlie DeMar, thank you.